Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. The Menace is back this Saturday night live on BT Sport. Happy to be back, Dennis. Yeah, definitely, mate. Definitely. It's been a long time coming, isn't it? It has. I mean, you were supposed to box Pedro a couple of shows back. Uh, what happened with that situation? Why didn't that fight happen? Oh, um, I don't know, something due to COVID or something like that. I'm not really too sure on, he, on his behalf. But um, we're here now, and we so Saturday night... It's gonna go down. That's gonna go down. What he had COVID? I don't think he had COVID. Like he didn't want. He was scared to travel because of COVID or something. Something like that. Did he just want to squeeze a little bit more money out of Frank? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Good luck with that one. Well, listen, Pedro's uh, Pedro Matos has boxed Sonny Edwards. Obviously, got stopped in that fight and also taken Casey Kademi the distance. I believe that was for the European title. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, is this a step Close up? Close fight. It was close fight. No one. Is this a step up for you on Saturday? Yeah, definitely it's a step up for an opponent. Definitely, he's a strong kid. That, um, that Matos is a strong kid, and he's fully seasoned man, isn't he? But when he steps in with me, it's a different ball game. There's levels in this game, and to be honest, I believe there are levels and levels above. So, definitely going to showcase a top class performance Saturday night. Well, you showed levels last time. You went in with someone who <laughs> never gets stopped. And uh, people were questioning whether Dennis is going to get another stoppage, and uh, you delivered an emphatic start. Yeah, definitely. I've done, done really well. I kept my uh, kept my distance, and I um, I boxed really well. To be honest, I uh, I never went looking for it. For me, honest with you. So same again in this fight. I'm not going to go looking for it. I'm not going to go try and take its head off. If it comes, it comes, and it will come. Trust me. It seems to be very natural when these stoppages come for you as well. I don't even try looking for like looking for me like the last fight. I never tried to look for it at all. But I've got power on both hands, and I just think when I land, I just, I just seem to hurt them straight away, don't I? Dynamite in both hands, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, a step up for you, as you said, and if you come through against Pedro and impress, as you've always done yeah, throughout your through, career yeah. so far, what happens with Dennis McCann next year? Next year, we're looking to, uh, for title contentions. Uh, depends what it is. I'm not sure yet. I've left it down to Frank and MDK. But, um... Definitely be a title next year, probably my first fight in the year, maybe end of February, begin uh begin the match, middle of March around that time. For uh come for the bigger boys, isn't I? Mm. I'm sure you want to climb up them world rankings as soon as possible, Dennis. I do, definitely, yeah, but listen, you got remember I'm nineteen years old and I am. Um, there's no rush, you know what I mean? There's literally no rush. I'm maturing more and more every day as as a man, getting stronger and stronger in the gym. Um everyone I'm sparring, I'm literally just Demolishing as well, if I'm honest with you. So um, I'm just getting stronger and stronger, so I keep doing what I'm doing. Keep training hard and stay humble, and that's, that's the, the game plan. That must give you like tremendous confidence going into these fights. If you are demolishing everyone in sparring, you must feel like the man. No, definitely this isn't. But sparring, sparring, and fighting, fighting, two different things. Isn't it? There's a lot of people in, in, in boxing who just is great in their sparring, but ain't very good in the night. And I'm, I'm, I'm actually a lot better on the night. I love the bright lights and stuff, so... Um, I just literally can't wait for Saturday night now. It's a long time coming, as I already said. And I'm looking to literally to take Matt out south. Frank always says to me that the one thing besides your natural ability and your pedigree and the amateur game that impresses that impresses him the most about you is the fact that you're so dedicated to this. He can tell that you live the life so well. Like this means everything to you. The Definitely, fight. of course it does. Literally, my whole life. Give up my whole life from my childhood. Everything I give up for this. My dad's going away to America and uh, just before the fight, so I won't see him. And I mean, all that carry on, but I am. Um, it's the sacrifices you got to make. You got to make them family sacrifices. And um, I'm willing to do it there to get to the top. Mm. So, yeah, I mentioned next year you want to be climbing up them world rankings. Are you bothered about doing the classical route, though, of English, Commonwealth, British? Does that affect you, bother you? Not too much to be honest. I probably I would take the British and Commonwealth, maybe if um to see uh what Frank wants was doing in MTK. But um, the English don't bother me at all because if I want to go that route, I can just I can take them out now. 
which is quite easy for me. Um, southern areas don't bother me. The whipper whippersnappers, to, to be honest with you. So I'm looking for the bigger titles than them. So the, the British and the Commonwealth perhaps mean something to you. What, why I'm asking that is, do you have to go for that British and Commonwealth first, or are you are you happy to jump in for like an intercontinental title, etc.? I got yeah, but no, so the the there and I can come back to the British, can I? For one thing, you know what I mean. Whatever Frank wants to do, as I already said, I just got to listen to him, and uh, I just got to keep your feet in the ground, and just keep doing what I'm doing, keep taking out these pit, keep taking out these fires, and just keep taking them out, one by one. But whether it's the Commonwealth, the British, perhaps even the European, or a, a world ranked title next year, Dennis McCann will be boxing for a major title next year. Definitely, yeah, definitely, and will be winning one as well. Could it be abroad? Might be abroad, might not be. Enough. Could be, could be. <laughs> Dennis taking his uh, army to Vegas, perhaps. Could be, yeah. I'll chat to Frank about that one, will we? <laughs> Dennis, uh, we had a huge weekend of boxing uh, just go with uh, Daniel Dubois and Joe Joyce. What did you make uh, of the fight itself and the outcome? I thought it was a very good fight. It was quite close before um, before the stoppage. But, listen, it's boxing and boxing. I thought uh, Daniel, his, his eye was pretty gruesome, to be honest with you. And um, he's getting a lot of stick on the social media and that. But I think it's, it's a bit unfair for me, to be honest with you. I don't think, listen... Boxing's a hard game, and he's a, he's a young man. He, he'll come again, and uh, he's taking big shots in the air. Like that one more shot could finish his whole career. So, um, there's not really much more he could have done. For me, honest with you, I don't think personally it's hard enough to, as you even said, to drive a car one night. Never mind being in the ring with Joe Joyce one night. Mm. Yeah, I said that to you off camera. Like mm. doing anything with one eye, it's difficult. Let alone getting smashed with a. A massive jab in your face and then imagine you know he, he's blinded a little bit which he was with that shot and he, he walks onto a right hand from Joe Joyce that you normally wouldn't mm. if you had both eyes and then loses his whole career potentially of course it's very very easy to happen couldn't it he's, old, he's only 23 years of age the man's going to come again and, and he's still got a good chance of winning the world title isn't he but help of God I wish him the best of luck well said but more more importantly I think I think everyone's talking about Daniel and because of the backlash he's getting but to be honest Joe is the man who done that to him and he boxed superbly didn't he Joyce he, uh, Joyce boxed really really well he boxed really calculated um, on the outside which a lot of people thought he couldn't do he was just boxing lovely wasn't he? he was on the outside he never rushed in too much and uh, I think Joyce shocked a lot of people of course but now I think he's called out Uzek so which will be another tremendous fight won't it definitely will be and we've got another tremendous fight uh, headlining between Anthony Yard and Lyndon Arthur, of course, you're boxing on this card. Another cracker. Oh, definitely, definitely. I um, I think it's going to be a very good fight, and uh, I think Yardy is the favourite, but to be honest, I wouldn't surprise me if Lyndon Arthur done it, done the business. I think he's got a very good jab, I think he's a very good boxing ability, and it uh, could be another shocker. Yeah, it's like last weekend, really, another another close fight. This weekend with the main event, but uh, Dennis looking to steal the the show again on Saturday night. Once again, definitely, and the Dennis is going to steal the show once again, as per usual. <laughs> okay, Dennis McCann, thank you very much, Songs of IFL TV. Best of luck this Saturday night. I'm sure we'll be catching a word after another stoppage victory for the definitely. Menace. Definitely, tune in, tune in. Tune in to BT Sport, top man. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt.